Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So now let us discuss about production of citric acid and lactic acid. So firstly let us see the production of the citric acid. So before entering into the production of the citric acid, let us see the introduction. I mean the definition of the citric acid actually. What is meant by the citric acid and what are the uses of the citric acid. Citric acid is found primarily in several varieties of fruits and vegetables. So citric acid can be seen in fruits and vegetables, different type of fruits and vegetables like uh, if you include lemons and limes. See uh, the taste of the citric acid will be very pulpy, right? So if you taste the lemon, then you can feel that nature, pulpy like nature, right? Pulpy like taste nature. So which contains highest amount of citric acid. And the citric acid also plays a major and vital role which increases your immune power. And this citric acid is also found in animal tissues. It is also found in animal tissues and the citric acid can be used in the food and also in the pharmaceutical industries. In the food is nothing but it mainly acts as a preservative. It mainly acts as a, yeah here, it acts as a good natural preservative. And the citric acid is considered as weak organic acid. And normally the citric acid can be produced by a process called as fermentation. Fermentation. And the brief explanation of the fermentation will be given in further videos. And I'm not going to explain you here fermentation in deep because I'm just going to explain you the procedure of the citric acid. I mean, how the citric acid is going to produce by using this fermentation technology. And for the production of citric acid, bacteria, fungi and yeast, uh, you know, these are the type of organisms which are mainly used for the production of the citric acid. So now let us see how the citric acid will be produced. So now I'm going to, I have said you that here the microorganism which includes is a bacteria. So let us take the example of bacteria of Aspergillus niger, which mainly plays a major and vital role for the production of citric acid. So now we are going to take the strains of this Aspergillus niger. We are going to extract that strains. And now what you are going to do is that you are going to take the fermentation tank and you are going to uh, clean that fermentation tank. So don't forget to clean that fermentation tank such that it avoids the contamination of the culture culture bacterial culture or it's nutrient medium okay so now what you're going to do is that after the cleaning of that fermentation tank what you're going to do you're going to inoculate this aspergillus niger that's nothing but you're going to take this aspergillus niger strains into this fermentation tank and now along with the strains you're also going to add the nutrient medium you're going to add the nutrient medium and listen properly the nutrient medium includes water carbohydrates oils and fats growth factors buffers and even the oxygen and among this oxygen plays a major and vital role which is highly necessary for the production of the citric acid and not only the citric acid even if you take any any other type of organic acids like lactic acid glutamic acid any type of organic acids the oxygen is highly used without oxygen there will be no production of the any organic acid right so that process where you are going to uh, where you are going to insert this oxygen into the fermentation tank process that process is called as aeration aeration and the temperature which you are going to apply is 27 to 33 degrees celsius for 5 to 14 days for 5 to 14 days you are going to adjust this temperature for 27 to 33 degrees celsius and you are going to leave that fermentation tank for 5 to 14 days right and now what will happen and then this aspergillus niger uh, the you know the the number of this aspergillus niger will get increased such that it helps in the production of the citric acid and then finally the citric acid will get produced but the citric acid which was produced will be unpure in form will be unpure in form so to make it pure what you are going to do you are going to filter it and you are going to purify it after filtration and purification the unpure citric acid will get converted into the citric acid which is in the pure form so in this way you are going to uh, produce a citric acid by using the fermentation technology up to now we have discussed only the first method for the production of citric acid by using aspergillus niger bacterium and now in the second there is also another method for the production of citric acid so the second method includes the cassava by using this cassava we are going to produce a citric acid and in many other industries the mostly used product the mostly used uh, material for the production of citric acid is cassava but not that bacterium right so why this cassava is most widely used let us enough See, in the fermentation process, this cassava requires only less temperature that too, it, it, it also consumes the less amount of time for the production of citric acid. Hence, this cassava is highly used. So now let us see how the citric acid will be produced by using this cassava. And here also the process which will be performed is the fermentation. For any type of organic acid production, the fermentation process will only be used. 
and now if you see the picture this will be the cassava right and now this is a diagram of the cassava let us say this is the structure of the cassava and which will be brown in color and if you cut the pieces the middle region will be white in color okay so i have didn't mention any color uh, you know in the circle so now let us say this is a cassava and you are going to wash this all of this cassava and then you are going to slice them you are going to cut them into the slices and now what you are going to do is that you are going to sterilize all the slices of cassava so why you are going to sterilize and the process of sterilizing these slices is called as sterilization so why this sterilization will be performed it is mainly performed to remove the bacteria which is present on the surface of the slices right it kills the bacteria at a particular temperature this sterilization will be done such that the bacteria which is present on the surface of the slices will get killed okay and now what you are going to do is that now that slices will be pure in form and that pure slices will be placed in the fermentation tank and make sure that the fermentation fermentation tank should be cleaned to avoid contamination this fermentation tank will be cleaned and after cleaning this fermentation tank you are going to add this pure slices of cassava right and now you are also going to add the nutrient medium so what are the material which is present in the nutrient medium i have already said you what are carbohydrates oils and fats growth factors buffers oxygen oxygen is highly used and the process of consumption of oxygen is called as aeration and you are going to insert this oxygen through an inlet there will be a inlet in the fermentation tank so through that inlet you are going to insert this oxygen and now you are also going to insert this nutrient medium into the fermentation tank right so now what does this fermentation tank contains it contains the slices and along with the nutrition medium and we are also going to supply this oxygen and now the fermentation tank will allowed uh, to perform its function where the fermentation will be done at the particular temperature of 26 degrees celsius for only 120 hours see here in the production of the citric acid by using this cassava in this method it requires only less amount of time but if you see in the first method by using this aspergillus nigger it requires 5 to 14 days right 5 to 14 days so by this you can understand which is the best method to perform uh, this uh, technique for the production of the citric acid so now here the citric acid will be produced which is unpure in form which is unpure in form so to make it pure what you are going to perform you are going to perform the filtration and purification that's nothing but you are going to filtrate purify this citric acid which is unpure in form to produce pure citric acid right so in this way the citric acid can also be produced by this cassava so now let us discuss about the production of the lactic acid to know about this lactic acid it is a three carbon compound which is soluble in water and insoluble in other organic solvents and normally this lactic acid can be produced by using lactic acid bacteria and this lactic acid can be produced by performing a technique called carbohydrate fermentation so if you see emp pathway for example uh, emp pathway is also called as glycolysis right so now if you see in the case of this glycolysis pathway uh, where the glucose will get converted into the glucose 6 phosphate right and this glucose 6 phosphate will get converted into phosphoenol pyruvate and this phosphoenol pyruvate will get converted into the pyruvate which is also called as pyruvic acid and up to here uh, the glycolysis cycle will get completed sorry the glycolysis pathway will get completed right where this pyruvate or this pyruvic acid is a three carbon compound and from this pyruvic acid you are going to convert it them this pyruvic acid into the lactic acid where this pyruvic acid will get converted into the lactic acid by using lactate dehydrogenase enzyme right so in this way the lactic acid will be produced and this process will be done in the fermentation only and this process is called as carbohydrate fermentation right because this glucose comes under the classification of the carbohydrate so by the performing the fermentation of this glucose we are going to call it as a for carbohydrate fermentation so the product which will be obtained by this carbohydrate fermentation by using glucose is nothing but the lactic acid by using lactate dehydrogenase if there is absence of this lactate dehydrogenase enzyme then there will be no production of this lactic acid or as lactate right so now let us see how the lactic acid will be produced uh, by fermentation process so by using batch fermentation and fed batch fermentation and repeated and continuous fermentations you can produce this lactic acid so among them batch and fed batch fermentation are highly used and this is a two step process where the two steps includes upstream processing and downstream processing so you know about the lactic acid bacteria right it belongs to the gram positive bacteria and it is rod shaped bacteria and some are rod shaped and even some are spherical shaped which are concluded as cocci right so if you see the classification of the bacteria then you can understand this rod shaped bacteria and spherical which is nothing but called as cocci 
So now let us see how this lactic acid will be produced by using this lactic acid bacteria. So the first step is nothing but the upstream processing. So in the upstream processing what you are going to do let us see now. Firstly you are going to take the strains of the lactic acid bacteria and you are going to place them in a bioreactor tank. Make sure that the bioreactor tank is nothing but the fermentation tank. Okay and that fermentation tank will be cleaned to avoid the contamination of this lactic acid bacteria this bioreactor tank which is also called as fermentation tank will get cleaned and after the cleaning of this bioreactor tank you are going to place this lactic acid bacteria into this tank and along with this tank you are also going to supply the nutrient medium so the nutrient medium includes water carbohydrates oils and fats growth factors buffers i have said you right so it also includes the oxygen so oxygen will also be supplied to it i have said you without oxygen there will be no formation of any organic acids or any production of the organic acids right so you are going to supply the oxygen through the inlet and now you are going to adjust the temperature with 35 degrees celsius for 12 to 96 hours 12 to 96 hours so now crude raw product will be obtained crude raw product is nothing but which is unpure in form the product will be obtained which is unpure in form but the product which will be obtained is raw product so you are going to collect and you are going to preserve this raw product so up to here it includes the upstream processing and now what happens in the downstream processing let us see now so you have collected this crude and raw product right and now in the downstream processing what you are going to do is that you are going to extract this uh, what we said is collected raw product by using lysis process or a centrifugation process you are going to extract this crude raw product and you are going to purify them that after the process of this purification then the final product of the lactic acid will be obtained which is pure in form and then it will be packed in the bottles and will be supplied in the market so this is how the lactic acid is produced and how you know this is about the lactic acid and also about the citric acid so if you like my explanation you can subscribe my channel and you can also like this video and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box and i'm going to clarify doubts immediately thank you